Hello and welcome to my garden here in the Pacific Northwest of Canada on Vancouver Island. It's a beautiful late spring day, a little bit overcast. Here we've got some hellebores, some bourguignon. The lilacs are just incredible this year. You can smell them all the way up the street. shade garden under a beautiful camellia that's still got a bit of flowering and the rhododendrons are looking just marvelous right now the hostas are all looking very fresh just starting to come out this is a new project. This used to be a hundred year old shed that we had to take down last year because it was in disrepair and so it was a perfect opportunity for a new garden. It's a work in progress. This area needs to be leveled. I've just wanted to get in a few plants and a little bit of color this year. Um, so we've got a few tulips but there's lots more work. Obviously you see the flagstones haven't been placed yet. So lots more work going to happen in that area. We look here. Got another shade garden. It's always hard to know what to do under the stairs of a deck. So hostas, some fatsia, some St. John's wort, some ferns and heuchera. They seem to all do well there. This used to be grass until about a month ago. We dug up more grass for our orchard area. And as you can see, there are a lot of plants. The greenhouse is bursting, so we had to find space for them. So in here will be my cut flower garden because it gets good sun. And some liatris and cosmos, snapdragons, dahlias, everything that's good in the vase. The bluebells are looking just amazing right now. I won't take you in the greenhouse today, but as you can see, there is lots of activity, lots of tomato seedlings. I need to get that little pond feature in order. And the rhubarb is going well. The fig that I'm trying to espalier is just starting to leaf out. We've got some lilies in the background and the rhubarb to harvest. It's a quince and our raspberries are all butted up so I can't wait for those. Last year we hedged in this area with boxwood uh, and we'll be doing some retooling in this area as well. This lilac has gotten too big for this space and is shading out some of the roses in this area. But it's got a very cottagey garden feel and is very lush right now. My favorites are the tulips. They're just about out of season because it's gotten warm. It's been all over the map this spring, actually. A lot of cool, unseasonably cool weather till recently. And so that's meant that everything is a month later than we had it last year. But still, everything's looking healthy. I haven't had to do anything for the budworms this year. As I say that, I see one in front of me. But uh, generally speaking, I spray with an organic BT, which is non-toxic. But I didn't have to this year. I've just been manually dealing with them. The irises are just looking glorious. I do very little to maintain these and they could probably stand to be divided, but they are doing remarkably well. And the peonies look like they are going to do really well this year too. You can see all the buds. So I'll share when those are fleshed out. I've got a little herb garden here with some chamomile, rosemary, thyme, mint, and sage, chives. 
I usually plant some tarragon, some chervil, all of our favorite things to cook with. And the bugle weed is just, just flowering right now. Looks really beautiful along the path. And we have a whole hedge of oregano that are the bee's favorite. So we let it grow up beside this, beside this apple tree. Got a few apples apple trees in this area of all different varieties and lots of alliums. We love alliums so I just let them grow wherever they're going to grow. And currants, black and two red currant. And last year the foxgloves took over and I've let them this year. They're a biennial which means they flower every two years so I don't mind. I'm going to wait and see what they do in the garden this year. Still need to add to this pathway, but for now we've got just a little green path. And the sweet pea towers, which are growing slow but sure. And maybe we'll do the veggie garden next. We had to cover these because we have had so many rats in every evening after planting peas. They come back and they eat the peas. And so the chicken wire is the least invasive way to deal with it until they're established and they can't pick them out. Had a lovely kale Caesar salad last night. All of the lettuces in, the peas, the tomatoes will go in next week into bags in the greenhouse, reusable bags. And here is my hydrangea area. So next year, I think I'm gonna fill it in. We just had some extra tulips, so we popped them in here and there, and they're so lovely. I'm gonna add a lot more tulips to cover this space next year, but the Brenner are just gorgeous right now. These are all limelight hydrangeas, so they get beautiful panicle white flowers that age to a rose color in August, September. I've got some crocosmia here and I should have shown, look at these rhododendrons in all their glory. There's another one I'll show you just after. We've got a, one tree that's white, one that's pink, and one that's purple. More hydrangeas, more brunera. and the delphiniums, which should be coming up soon. So just a quick tour of what we call Manor Garden. That's Charlie, responsible for lawn quality control and keeping the squirrels away. Hope you all are having a good one.